more of Austin's homes and businesses are about to be powered by the sun. Developers broke ground last month on the Midway Solar Project. That's about a five-hour drive west of Austin in Pecos County. In about a year's time, it will become the largest solar panel installation in Texas with enough power to run 50,000 homes, and all of that energy is coming to Austin. Meteorologist David Yeoman shows us how this project fits into the bigger picture of Austin's renewable energy goals. How do you think the majority of Austin's electricity? Ask Austinites where their electricity comes from, and you get all sorts of answers. I have no idea. Maybe it's coal, maybe it's... Nuclear? I don't know. I would think hydroelectric. Truth is, when you flip the switch, the majority of it still comes from things like natural gas and coal, with 35% coming from wind and solar. It would be nice if it was more uh, sustainable and renewable. But don't be fooled. Austin Energy says we're actually leading the pack for large cities in the U.S. The initial 2020 goal, which uh, we put in place in 2003, was 20%. We revised that up to 30%, and then subsequently, two years later, we revised it up to 35%. On track to being majority solar and wind power by 2025. Two, three. And this is the project that'll give us another boost. 900 acres, soon to house more than a half a million solar panels, stretching for miles and miles across some of the sunniest land in the country. But you know, we don't have to wait a full year for that West Texas project to be built, completed, and then funnel its power over here to Austin. We already have two solar panel installations right here in town. These, covering the south side of the Palmer Events Center, power about 25 homes, and the much bigger La Loma project, still under construction in East Austin, will soon power more than 400 homes. And it has a battery the size of a shipping container for cloudy days. It's really exciting to see it take off, to be affordable, and to be available at the kind of scale that it is here in Austin. As Austin Energy outpaces their goals, why not be even more aggressive with them? The reason we gave ourselves more time is because the technology is getting cheaper so quickly. It's one-fifth the price now than it used to be uh, five years ago. And when Khalil saves money on his contracts, it saves the customers money and paves the way for a greener future. Sounds good. <laughs> yes, I approve. David Yeomans, KXAN News. If you're interested in having your home powered by one of the two local solar projects David mentioned, you can sign up for Austin Energy's Community Solar Program. There you can also sign up for their Green Choice Program, which powers your home with 100% Texas wind energy. Several large local companies like Samsung are Green Choice customers. We were wondering how the electric company can actually make sure it's renewable energy funneling through the power lines to your home instead of energy from other sources. At the end of the day, everything gets mixed into this big bathtub and we draw out from this big bathtub and that's, that's the way the market works. They call that electron accounting and tell customers to think of it as supporting the city's solar and wind contracts. Basically, you pay a little bit more and that money helps pay for solar and wind contracts.